Having to stay alert at all times in case danger strikes is a life most of us normally don't have to think about, but it's something deployed military soldiers are constantly aware of. The NOW's Lauren Wilson spent some time today with one local vet who came in contact with that kind of life threatening danger. Here is his story of triumph and inspiration. I feel like a new man every day. 30 year old Brian Carpenter may look pretty healthy right now, but 10 years ago, that was not the case. And I had a bad traumatic brain injury. A bunch of broken bones, back, pelvis, ankles. While on deployment serving in the military as a Marine, Brian's vehicle went over a roadside bomb during night patrol. Well, I actually blacked out right away. I remember driving up to where I hit the bomb, and the last thought that went through my head was, Oh, wow, the combat engineers fixed the road. Brian suffered the most severe injuries out of all of his comrades that day. And when he awoke from his two-week coma, doctors told him he would never walk again. But with the support and encouragement of family and friends on one side and his strength and courage on the other, Brian was determined not to give up. Very intense, very stubborn, um, very gung-ho. If he wants something, it's going to get done. But... That stubbornness is how he perseveres. Now physically healed from the accident and able to walk just fine, Brian wants to spread his message of hope through his new book. It is Brian's dream being fulfilled. I want people to realize that there's nothing that can not be overcome. And as stressful and as hard as it was for me, I never gave up. He also tells me his healing process is still not over, as the memory of the incident will forever be imprinted in his mind. Certain things will get me to stare off into space and kind of put me back where I was, but I can keep it under control to where I don't let it control me and make me do any things I wouldn't normally do. For the now, I'm Lauren Wilson. Brian's book called Never Ending Battle After Iraq was released late last month and tells of his military journey before and after that explosion.